listeners, I am your host, Erica Salda, the Queen of Teen. Please tune in every single Tuesday. This is the whole hour of Santa Barbara Teen Sports. Yeah. <laughs> and all those people, and we're listening to, you know what it is? Oh. We're, yes, we're so filled with wonderful people here today. Yes, why is everybody looking at me? I don't know. <laughs> you know what it is? We're packed with children. And when yeah. we have lots of children, and we have Pal in the house, and we have my boy Anthony, and we have Dominique Hackett, and, you know, Alexandria's here holding down the fort, and she's not with Judge Hill. <laughs> say something. Say something so profound. Ch- profound. Yes. Well, this is Teen Sports Radio, so that's why we do have a lot of kids on here. That's that's my profound thing to say today. My goodness. Um, yeah, but it's great. I'm so, it's, it's great to always come to a packed show. I get so much energy when I come on here, and... And I hope you do, too. It's Tuesday morning. Yes. <laughs> it's just angelic. And it's Tuesday morning, and we're winding down the month of July. We are. Isn't 31st, that crazy? 31st of it. July today. I go to school in, like, two weeks. We just experienced the longest e- lunar eclipse of the 21st century. Just happened on Friday. Yeah. 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 Unbelievable. Yep. We so. did something really cool. I, I, I'm just die. I'm back now. Where'd you go? No, I don't know. Uh, I went to Laguna now. last <laughs> week. Okay, last week we went to Laguna. Coolest thing. How, how many been? How many here? How many here have been to the Portrait of the Masters? No. Anybody? Pageant. Pageant. pageant portrait. I was talking because that's what I was yes, looking yes, at. Yes. Portraits. <laughs> but it's actually the Pageant of the Masters. Anybody here? No. 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 Fantastic. No. Dominique. Engage. <laughs> okay. Pageant of the Masters is a theater slash art event that happens in Laguna, California. And it has been going on since the early 1930s. And it was started as a promotional in order to bring people to Laguna because Laguna is a community of artists. And so what they did was they took pictures that had uh, a meaning or they wanted to help represent a particular uh, artist. And it literally on a theater... You see a backdrop, people are inserted into the picture, and then there's another uh, backdrop behind them, and live people are integrated into the picture, and then you look at it from the stage, and it's huge, and it's amazing, and you can't tell that people are in there. And so it's this beautiful artistic event where you learn about history or you learn about somebody like Leonardo da Vinci or, uh, you know, maybe another uh, famous artist that you don't know anything about. And they literally put up on a screen all sorts of interesting information about different times and places. And so it's educational and art at the same time. And they had sculpture. They had everything. So imagine striking a pose and holding it for two minutes bronze work everything and okay so when it first started so you see these massive portraits and Dominique goes look because we had uh, uh, you know excellent seats because the group we were with was, was with her mom and these women were going together for 50 years okay so with w- one woman we went with uh-huh. the retired mayor of Cyprus right um, Alice Rogers a shout out to Alice Rogers we love you Alice put your hand <laughs> down you know nobody knows her she's awesome she, in her day in even today she's yes. just she's the queen of all queens. Outstanding, outstanding civic leader. And um, people have been getting together, yeah, for over 50 years. And um, there's jazz music and other art that you can view um, ahead of time. But it's mostly done with volunteers. So volunteers from the community all get together. And there's like a waiting list to even participate now. It's so famous. I don't know if you can still get tickets, but it's still going on until like I think the third week or second week of August. So if anybody wants to go online and see if you can run down there and check it out is still worth it. Um, our tickets are still good to participate in the art show and all the concert music um, every and night. every night, yeah, up until it's over. So um, you get a big bang for the buck um, for your tickets. But I was in awe. So when Dominique was saying, oh, you see that? You know, can you see the people? Yeah, I see the people. Um, can you see that um, they're moving? I'm like, what are you on? I, we don't even <laughs> drink, right? <laughs> so, uh, so the next picture goes, oh, you see that person? I say there's six people in there. Um, yeah. Oh, if you look at it really close, because we're in the fourth row, right? You can see a slight movement. I'm like, oh, stop! Like, what is? This? They're not moving. It's a picture. Uh, I mean, the the side. Can imagine a gigantic stage. So there's like, you know, beautiful pictures. Like somebody painted it. Whatever. And I'm like, oh God, how long is this going to last? I'm like, going <laughs> to nose off, right? So then all of a sudden, say like 12 pictures into it, 
then they will like five people will be on the stage they'll dress up and then they'll embed themselves in the picture they'll turn off the light and then with the lighting crew and everything they'll turn it on you're like holy shit you know s-h-i-t <laughs> and i'm like oh my god i mean it's amazing so you can youtube it yeah it's like wow it's incredible you can go on youtube and you can see a little presentation of what it's about yeah. but it's something very special on our west coast i don't think it's being done anywhere else in the world but it's literally marrying theater with art yeah very cool all right that's my big clip on it yep are you looking at it see I think so yep that's it see so that is a person right there <laughs> i know doesn't look like oh, it. oh so they paint themselves yes 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 and then they and they wear f- costumes the costumes and then they oh. see that's a person i know see that's why i could say that's why i'll say oh that's not real so we were going to ask everybody, what interesting things have you guys all done in, during the summer? Okay, let's go around the room. Say your name. Hi, this is <laughs> Kayla here. Queen. Yes. Um, <laughs> so I actually just got back from a cruise this past weekend to celebrate my 16th birthday. Woo! Was, Where'd you go? Um, it went to Ensenada in Mexico. Mm. It was a three-day one. It was super fun. And I went with my friend Camille, who's also here today with me. Nice, Camille. Yeah, so hitting Ensenada. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was really fun. Camille, what's your last name? McCrory. Nice. Yes. Where do you go to school? I go to Santa Barbara Middle School. Nice. Yeah. Oh, what I was like the best it. part about the cruise? Um, Probably like going to the shows and stuff. That was really fun. Yeah. And just wandering and exploring. Yeah. Yay for Santa Barbara Middle School. My, my, I, like I have a child. Uh, at, it was Don Colbert who graduated from. Oh, really? Santa, yeah. Oh, wow. That's cool. What year? <laughs> uh, long, long ago. <laughs> In the 90s. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. When uh, Russ Lewin was still a teacher. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. He was. Yep. My brother had him. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's a really good school. They do. Yes. They do. They still bike. They have the bicycle, right? Yeah, we. Yeah. yeah, we just did our like last end of year expedition to Oregon. So, uh, when uh, Don went, uh, the Santa Barbara Middle School was the the school in the whole world who did the most biking in in one year with all their students. Really? Is that still the case? Honestly, I don't know around the world, but definitely in Santa Barbara. <laughs> um, I don't know of any other schools that really do bike Mm-mm. trips here, but yeah. We do a lot wow. of biking. So you you really go up to Oregon yeah. on a bike? No, we didn't bike there, oh. but we take the train. We took the train there, and then we just bike. How many miles did we? Bike like on? fifty-three miles, probably. I fifty-three miles was our longest. Long <laughs> that was the longest day. Uh, yeah. Can you introduce yourself? Yeah, oh yeah. yeah. I'm Katie Gonella, and um, I go to Santa Barbara Middle School as well. In the summer, I've just been in SB a lot, and I also went to Hawaii, which was awesome. It's like. It's amazing there. Like, it's the most pretty place in the world. Nice. I want to go to Hawaii so bad. Well, you have to go on a cruise. <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah, it was fun. That's pretty awesome. And then, besides that, uh, Camille and I have actually been working at the uh, beach house on State Street, oh. which has been, like, super cool, because, you know, like, you always wonder, like, what it's like having a job, and then to get to work there, especially because I've been going there since I was little, and my brother works there, and, like, I'm in love with, like, all the clothes there, so it's been <laughs> super fun shopping around. <laughs> And working. <laughs> That's the Great. cool. Yeah. All right. So your turn. Okay, sorry. <laughs> um, so I've been on here a few times. I've been interning at the courthouse and under Judge Hill. I've been working at Diani. And then two weeks ago, we went to visit my cousins in London. And we went to Zurich, Switzerland also. And we went to Edinburgh, Scotland for one day. So it was a... Pretty packed. It was a pretty packed 10-day <laughs> trip. slightly busy. It was a pretty packed 10-day trip, but it was so fun. And I can talk more about it later if we decide to do that. Nice. Pass it over. See you. Uh, you just say who you are. It's cool. Yeah. Mm-hmm. My name's Alexa. Um, hey, Alexa, how you doing? Good. All right. So what did you do this summer? Um, not much. Not much? Not much. Well, well this, is Sa- though, right? this is Santa Barbara. Actually, actually, Santa Barbara was rated, what, the best city, I think, in the world or something? Yeah. Oh, best weather. No, the best weather in all of the U.S. Really? Best weather in all of the United States of America, so that's not too shabby. Um, have you been going to PAL or doing anything? Oh, sorry. So uh, I know that you are a PAL guest today. So have you been going to PAL or yeah. anything like that? I've been going to PAL. Great. And do you go every day? Yeah. 
What do you do on after you're done? Or do you just go home and hang out? Or have you seen any good movies, anything like that? Prepping for sixth grade, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. God, it's a fun year. I know, I know. That's when they still allowed me in school. <laughs> <laughs> you made it to sixth. You get yeah, I made it to sixth grade, but, you know, I got kicked out. You know, we'll, we'll, go after, we'll, we'll go after that, you know. Have, did, have you made it? Well, did, did you ever not? Did you complete ever one year of elementary school? Yes, I did. <laughs> yes, I did. But um, uh, high school? Uh, no. No. Well, we'll talk about that after we take a break. How about that? Sounds good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> See, this is what's, what I like about Anthony is Anthony can attest to being, if I can make it, anybody can make it. Okay. How about that? That's right. See, that's what I like about you. <laughs> Let's take a little break. This is Erica Saldo, the Queen of Teen. We'll be back with a lot more after these messages. We are back, and this is the Santa Barbara Teen Sports Radio Show. I am your host, Erica Salda, the Queen of Teen. Please tune in every single Tuesday. Well, uh, we have Jessica Ochoa in the house. And ow! Ow! ow. <laughs> what? Did I step on your foot? No. Oh. Uh, oh, that's the I'm new. I'm hyping us up a little bit here. <laughs> okay. I'm I like that. Getting the energy rolling. Oh, well, I wanted to see if that was that new call, that new cheer. Okay. Was that the new cheer? No. Go Run. Berkeley. <laughs> oh, Cheers. that's it. Okay. That's because it's the bears, right? Yes, we're golden bears. Golden, golden bears. bears. Okay. Well, mm-hmm. that's the golden bear. Uh, ow. Ow! Okay. Yeah. okay. <laughs> there you go. Sorry. Well, we'll we got this back a little back to Jessica. Back to Jessica. Aren't you glad you showed up today, <laughs> pal? I'm glad to show up. There you go. Well, she's here now. I like those nails. Oh, thank you. We, very okay. in. You guys are in here. You can see Jessica always has the best makeup on. Yeah. Well, thank you I could. I thought Jessica. you looked at the nails and you went, "Ow!" I didn't know. Oh, yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Thank you, guys. You guys are also very uplifting. Uh, um, see. I, to- I was telling Alexa, I was like, if you can deal with me, you, you will definitely <laughs> like that. Like, you guys are awesome. <laughs> so what's going on at PAL? Um, so we did just have our uh, Hurricane Harbor trip. We will be having our paintball trip coming up, which we thank you so much for the donation, guys. We also have... Thank you. <laughs> we also have our... Um, Summer programs wrapping up, so that was really awesome. We got to do uh, like math clubs, science clubs uh, with Alexa, who's actually involved in them. Um, that's something that she's been doing since she started. She is one of our newer students, so she's kind of barely warming up to us, but it's awesome. We love math and science. Um, on your math and science, um, that's for all grades, right? Or no? Yes, it yes. is. Yes. Okay. We gave um, a couple chances because we also, like I've said before, we get newer people coming in during the summer. So it's a chance for us to kind of see where everybody's at so we can assign them to our tutors, which are also great. They volunteer their time to come help our kids out. Are we looking for tutors? Always. Nice. Yes, so always. Because you got one right here. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. All right, so if you wanted to be a tutor, what do you got to do to help? Um, you can come in. We do accept volunteers. Even for um, if you want to join one of our programs, we have had a couple people come in, even our returning alum that are over the age of 18 now. They come back and volunteer all the time. We You can as- get assigned to one of our programs, whether it be to help out our jujitsu instructor, to go over to our Teen Fit program, and then for our tutoring, always, we have our um, program coordinator who helps out organize with whoever volunteers for the programs and then we also have our campership and um, family coordinator who her name is Elvia and she's the one that will assign our tutors to each student. That looks really good on college resume. Yeah I'd definitely be interested in doing that. I know a lot of kids in my school who would like totally love to come help. Just the love. You know, that's why I like Teen Sports Radio. You know, you got the teen queens who's like the queen of all queens and is a networker. You know, and she just brings all of her friends because, pal, Police Activities League. I mean, if you were going to tutor and help an association, because a lot of people don't realize this, Police Activities League, and we can go into this further. People think, and they do, right, Dominique? We talk, do we not support the Police Activities League? They think that you guys are funded by the city. 
Do they not? Yes. Everybody, uh, not everybody. Okay, I'm going to say, nine, would, I, would, would you say 95% of the people that we talk to think that you are just like self-funded by Santa Barbara? Yeah. They do, but that is not true, is it? Nope. Let's let's clarify this, people. So let's let, we're going to have it right from Jessica. Jessica, explain where you get all your money from. It is honestly mainly um, the community. They come out, they check out what we do. We also have our kids in our youth leadership camp uh, council. They come up with the ideas. How are we going to help our community? You know, we don't just receive money and take it and do stuff with it. No, we we earn it. Our kids earn it. They earn every part of it as well as our Explorer program. They go out whether, you know, the community needs help with parking, if they need help picking things up. They work closer with the police department. They The officers are more than helpful in organizing that for us. See? So it's not like, um, you know, that she runs down to the city and picks up a check. No, right. that's just not how it happens. But so, the best thing what she said, though, yeah. is that the kids are involved, and that's right. one of the best things that, that actually... Yeah. Anthony, when you talk from the corner of the room, I'm trying to translate, okay? But you, I love you so much. Are we like family? Yeah, we are. You've been like, come on over every weekend for a barbecue. Do you like my... Because I... So oh, Anthony we're needs up. to get back on the mic here. Okay, <laughs> no, but I think that's actually one of the best things about PALS. Um, a lot of my actually godchildren uh, have gone to PALS and uh, are now probably alumni and stuff like that for PALS. So I've seen the work that they've done and they do amazing work and, and um, you know, I've actually gone over there and actually presented on talking about suicide to a lot of their students also. So they're, they're a great organization and, and definitely need the help. And uh, putting that money into it is really good. I, I just love it. I love PAL. And I love when you come over for the barbecues. It's been like three weekends in a row now. And the Traeger is rocking it. And your ceviche and your family knows how to cook. Your family knows how to cook. And I don't mind inviting you over for the barbecues. And let's get back to PAL. So if any of you folks out there, you know, when you've, you know, looking at your budget, whatever like that, you like your feeling in that giving since we just went through this major eclipse, right? Well, yeah. Well, e- you want to talk about the eclipse right now real fast? Because <laughs> it's like the longest eclipse that we've ever had, like... You know, um, like thousands of years. Isn't well, it? It, no? it's really fun. I mean, we all recognize that so we're influenced by the sun and we have seasons. <laughs> we're talking about <laughs> But we're also influenced, influenced by the moon. I mean, obviously, we have the tides, right? So obviously, our planet is getting impacted by other heavenly bodies. And so um, some people feel that when we have eclipses, which happen every year, we have uh, lunar eclipses and solar eclipses, that um, there's just an interesting energy shift and light changes and so everyone's just been sort of studying and noticing so it's kind of fun to notice what's happening in the heavens and then just notice what's going on in your life and see if there's any correlations that you can make it's it's very fun um but uh, th- i just wanted to go back to pal for one second kids are free that's that's the really cool yeah. thing and there's so many times where the parents are really busy working and maybe they're even having two jobs and the kids really need help but they may not want to ask their parent for help because they know that their parents stressed out you know just trying to make ends meet and so the fact that you have this wonderful community available that where kids can just pop right in there and get help right away really fun and uh, build community and do fun things so thank yes, you so much thank you so much Uh, There are so many really great, I mean, okay, I don't know how to reiterate what everybody just said in a different way, but basically there's so many great opportunities here in Santa Barbara for giving back, and if you are a teen and you have nothing to do, which I've been there, we've all been there at some point in the summer, really look into ways that you can tutor other people. There's PAL, there's places like the village that I went to for a few years to to volunteer, um, housing authority, etc. Like the list goes on. You have so many great places. And if you're looking for ways that you can get involved, just, you know, it's as simple as looking it up or going to your school's counseling office and seeing what can I do because they have all of the information on that so please check in it'll it's really great for yourself honestly also you know even if you don't have if you feel like oh like I have so much sports going on I have all this homework and you know if you feel stressed it's really just such a great feeling to go out and help people and it you know relieves a lot it makes you think about not only yourself but others in your community I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I love it. No, it does, and it comes back. You know, I mean, there's nothing. the The gift is in the giving. 
I mean, it truly is. So um, uh, let's just close on that. We'll be right back after these messages. back and this is the Santa Barbara Teen Sports Radio Show and I am your host Erica Salda the Queen of Teen please tune in every single Tuesday all right Alexandria where else can you find us I okay. love it when I do this to you I do <laughs> it's my job on this show <laughs> so you can check us out on YouTube you yes. can check us out on Instagram Facebook mm-hmm. Twitter Twitter mm-hmm. and Twitter. you know we have a lot of different um, shows that play on 1290 AM if you want to check us out at 9 AM on Tuesdays that's our normal show but we also have 3 AM on Monday 3 AM on Monday and we have another segment at 11 11 Tuesday night Tuesday night yes do we have anything on Sunday I yes. couldn't have been more confusing <laughs> <laughs> and Sunday in and any way shape or form <laughs> yes. because okay. it's all over the place and we all we are How about, when are we on on Tuesdays we are on on Tuesdays at 9 a.m. and on 11 p.m. uh-huh and Sundays 3 a.m. no 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 Sunday 12. 2 p.m. 2 p.m. 2 p.m. <laughs> And I'm Mondays? so good at this job. And Mondays? <laughs> 3 a.m. This is what I get paid the there big bucks go. for. There you go. Okay, okay, okay. We're so there. 2 p.m. Uh. Sundays, 3 a.m. Mondays, 9 and 11 p.m. So 9 a.m. and 11 p.m. on Tuesdays. Correct. Yeah. There you go. That's it. Check us out on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and our website. That's it. You, how, many times, how many times are we on during the week? Four. Uh, four. There was not a trick question. <laughs> I know. So, I was. Uh, how about the old cool. TeamSportsRadio.com? There yeah. You go. yeah. That's it. Ah, there you, there go. you yeah. go. Well, we're going to go back to uh, Jessica with Pal. Put your hands together because we Woo! love her. And Jessica brought in a beautiful lady. We, we, we got a little peek at her, uh, a sound bite. Okay, so we're going to get back there. And uh, Jessica, what do you got? Yay. All righty, Alexa. Woo! I brought it up. Sorry. I brought up the science program, the book uh, club. So tell us about it. <laughs> you got this. Hello. Anything. So so tell us what it is. What are you reading? You said it's a book club? Yeah, we have a little bit of everything. So, so tell us about that. Well, in the book club, you like read n- new books and then you like write some some things about it. Like yesterday, we just finished. No, not yesterday. Last week, I think it was. We finished reading Tom Sawyer. Mm. And and then we did a book cover. We drew a picture in the front, and and then we wrote about something. We br- we wrote about the book in the back, and then next we did a portfolio. I think that's really awesome because Tom Sawyer is going to be required reading when you were in ninth or tenth grade. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, we just read that one. It's a good one. I liked it. It's awesome. Mm-hmm. Wow, and you know what? I honestly haven't read that yet, and it's a classic. I know. Oh my God. I know. Everyone's giving me the look. What, no, you? And I'm not the only one. I know. Yeah. Well, I know. It's weird. I think we read To Kill a Mockingbird and uh, of Mice and Men and those books. It's not that freshman. long of a book, and I read it in high school a number of times. It was great. Okay, well, now that's on my reading queue. There you go. There, there you we go. go. There, I learned something great new adventure. every yeah. Every I'll show. make sure she reads it to me, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, great. So, and how long has that been going? Just this whole, oh, sorry, this whole summer, and when did you start the book club? Um, started the book club when the program, like, because I'm new here, mm-hmm. and the pro, when the program started, I started the book club. I was, like, new. I didn't know what to do there. Mm-hmm. And then Elvia, she told me, are you supposed to be here? And then I tell her yes, because no, my right, sister, right. my right. my sister, she she's also there. And then I told her, oh, my sister, I don't know what she's in, but I think she went in the book club. And then then she said, okay, I'll I'll tell Madeline, who is our tutor, yeah, one of them, <laughs> <laughs> that that you're new here and you just joined in right now. <laughs> and then 
Yeah, so our little um, clubs and clinics recently started during our summer session. Again, just because we do get new kids and we kind of want to involve them and not just say, okay, we need help on. You know, it's mm -hmm. we get a feel for where they're at, what they want to learn, what they're interested in, like tuning in on, as opposed to just giving them a whole bunch of books and like, oh, read it or what? pick whatever you want, you know? So. Mm -hmm. Good. And then you said there was a STEM thing too. STEM. That Yeah, so you go ahead and explain what that's been like. Well, in Science Club, we, like, learned, like, on Tuesday, we learned about the body, like, how you need to be healthy. Um, we also made some bouncy balls. Um, a lot of cool things that we have been learning of. We have been learning. About. About. Mm -hmm. We have our tutor, uh, one of our tutors is Ricardo. He just, he's a bio major. So it's, we've been all over the place with these like projects and <laughs> the kids are super interested in it. You know, the, the bouncy balls, the plants, like basically everything. The slime. There you go. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's where it's at. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. Monique, you got to get back in there and make some more paper. Well, <laughs> I'm I'm curious too to know being a new a new member of PAL what that's been like and um just what your experience has been cuz it's really intimidating and scary to to just go into something and not really know too many people, right? Mhm. Mm so, how's how have you been coping with that? How have you been dealing with that? Pretty good. How what what's really helped you? Mostly the reading because I really needed help from the reading because mm -hmm. like in hmm, fourth grade I started getting bad of my reading and then in fifth grade I was still over there where I used to live and then I, I was still bad and then when I came over here I've like been starting to get a little good mm -hmm. of reading. I have been starting to to know how to do the things of the reading, like describe the book or like a mm -hmm. summary, mm -hmm. which I'm bad at doing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what? I wouldn't say that you're bad at anything because we always have to remember, right, that we're all different. Nobody's exactly the same. So even though you might learn a little slow or not learn a, bit a little slow, remember that you can do this and it just takes time, right? Because nobody's perfect, nobody's ever going to be perfect. But let me tell you something: you're doing a really good job, and I'm very proud of you. Know what so I, keep that up, yeah. okay? Know what I say? You know what you got to do? You put yet at the end of everything you say. I didn't get it yet. Yep. Put just I just nail that yet word. Just put yet at the end of everything that you say. I, I have I teach my friends that, and they're in their fifties, and they still don't get it. I just said, just please do me a favor because that's just so annoying when you're in your fifties and you still don't get it. Just say put yet. <laughs> I'm like, because uh, I'm gonna, because now I'm gonna start getting physical. I'm gonna, okay, because I'm gonna just start strangling you. <laughs> I think I'm gonna need pal to restrain. <laughs> do I, do I, right, Tom? Erica, let's hope I don't see you in. Uh, uh, oh, no, misdemeanor I'm Thursday <laughs> next week. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm just kidding. Um, okay. What you? Okay. So anyway. Um, yeah, yeah, it's a good word. No, yeah. So I think what's so powerful about everything that Pal's teaching you is that, and what we're talking about right now too, is positive framing of your words and how how you have to have a new uh, have a really great mindset on everything that you're pursuing for example i don't think i'm very good at science however yet. that doesn't mean that i can't be good at science ever or anything right no right yet i you know i've still yeah 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 <laughs> yes. yeah i know no, no but I, what i'm saying i'm giving an example about how you to use this these words so anyway yeah i mean everyone has things that they struggle with some people are better at other things and that's why, you know, we have time to work on them. And totally. Yeah. And, that, and you're, I mean, the fact that you read Tom Sawyer, which is a freshman level, a yeah. ninth grade level book, and you read it in sixth grade. I mean, I wouldn't say that you have, Genius. you know, yeah, I, I think you're, I think you're Genius. doing better than you think you are. So I would um, definitely just don't ever discount anything and feel really empowered to pursue whatever. That's what I really love about all these centers is that they're empowering people. And, you know, anyway, I could go on and on about that. So. 
as you were saying, you did science club and you did um, reading club. And how, what type of skill or what skills are you using to meet new people or are you meeting new people? How's that transition been? I know, I'm, put, I'm giving you a really hard question on the spot. No, no, no. She's talking to you like you're a senior. I know. <laughs> I know. You're, le, you're in sixth grade. Okay. Yeah. No, we're going to do, we're going to talk to you at break about yes. that, okay? How's that? Yeah, she's looking at me. It's okay. No, no it's all right. <laughs> we'll talk to you. We're going to talk to you at break, all right? Yeah. You just put your hands together. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> she's awesome. Look at her. This is big. She's so proud of you. Yeah, that's right. You're all good now. Trust me, because if you got Jessica in the house and you got her by your side, you just, okay. it's all good. <laughs> all right, we'll take a break. Erica Saul, the Queen of Team, will be back with a lot more after these messages. We are back. This this is a this is not a quiet house right now. I'm the queen <laughs> of team. It never is when I'm here. All right, <laughs> no, we're Erica. not even going to do the usual intro right now because I have to calm the house down right now. We have in the house Kayla Stern, and she's got her two oh, besties in. Yes, the house. I'm Woo! so excited to be here. That's it. Yeah, so I thought I'd bring these two ladies in because they're preparing for a big surf in Costa Rica trip um, in about two weeks. And so I thought, you know, I'd ask them some questions about what they've been up to and how they're going to prepare for this. So how long have you guys been surfing for? Um, I've been surfing for six years. You've got to be on the mic. There you go. You need to be on the mic. Okay. Okay. My name's Katie, and I've been surfing for about six years now. Yeah. Um, my dad's a surfer and all of my siblings are, so I've just grown up in the ocean and surfing. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, my dad oh, surfs too. Like he, we moved to Santa Barbara. Oh, is this okay? There you go. We moved to Santa Barbara like when I was three and like he was just like 50 and he learned how to surf and he was 50 and now he's 57 and he's so amazing at it. Like it's, it's so fun to go surfing with him. So I, he kind of inspired me. Yeah, Fantastic. surfing's a good bonding experience for sure. I actually met Camille at an A-frame surf camp like a few years ago, like my first day in Santa Barbara actually, and it's just been like really fun learning how to do it. And yeah, yeah, it's great. Like it's fun because it's something that with time anyone can do. So it's fun to like take people, like your friends out and stuff, and just like bond through it yeah and i feel like surfing compared to other sports which i'm a soccer player and a volleyball player so i definitely you know like all kinds of sports what i love about surfing i feel like it's the one sport that's really like connected with nature and the ocean and it's just it's like so nice and refreshing being out there in the water yeah, I mean, it's a good cross training for you as well. Mm -hmm. um, it's exactly what you're saying. So you'd be able to pick it up really. I mean, your passion is going to lead you through whatever you want to do. So and especially if you have two um, friends that are so good at it, you know, and they want to teach you. I mean, you're so lucky. I mean, mm -hmm. you can uh, transcend into that sport amazingly. I mean, so I'm know. curious what times all you ladies like to go surfing and where are your favorite spots? Um, I prefer to surf in the morning or in the evening, just because, like, that's usually when my brother and I go. We go, like, pretty early. Um, and I love going to Ventura because my oldest brother and I always grew up going there. And my family is, like, it's kind of like our spot. And then I also love, I live in Montecito, so it's, like, convenient. And we go there a lot, too, to, like, either Hammonds or Miramar, and I love it there. Yeah. Yeah, I think my favorite time to go surfing is like 6 o'clock when the sun is setting. So you just surf until it's dark outside, and it's so amazing. Like, the yeah. the sun going down over the water, it's like the best thing ever. It's so amazing. Yeah, uh, I actually like going in the morning mostly because it kind of wakes me up. When I get in that, like, cold water, I'm like, okay, I'm up, guys. And cause normally it takes me a while to really get going in the morning. So what high schools have you decided to go to? Um, well, we're going for for ninth grade. I'm going to Santa Barbara Middle School because they just go from from sixth to ninth, and then after that, I'm going to be going to Santa Barbara High School. Do they have a surf team? Yeah, I think so. I'm not sure. Like yeah, JP. Yeah. So we'll see. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. Are you also going to Santa Barbara High School after? Um, Santa Barbara no, High I'm actually. Well, I'm not really sure yet because I'm going to ninth grade for my at my school right. still, and then my family is planning to move probably to Costa Rica. Is like what we're hoping by 11th or 10th grade. 
So, yeah, um, if that yes, happens. Yes, please do. I want to come visit you out yeah. there. Yeah, yeah, I really, really want to do that. Yeah, yeah Costa Rica is definitely a really cool place to live. I, or I, went, I went, visited there for about, I think, two weeks a few years ago, and it's wild. Like, you know, like they're really, like, one with nature. So, yeah. like, just, just amazing <laughs> people and so nice. Yeah, that's what I would like. I'd be surfing all the time and homeschooling, and I, so I, I think that would be really cool to that do. That sounds fun, yeah. Do you compete? Um, I don't like competing, but, like, my brother always competed, and he always said, like, oh, it's just time in the ocean where it's, like, only you out there, so it'd be fun. And I just, like, I've never been into it in any way, like, in any sports or anything, but I'm not completely down or, like, shut down to the idea, but I just haven't. We'll push you for it. (laughs) Yeah, (laughs) come on, you got this. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, We're, we're, like, we're very busy people during the school year, so it's kind of hard to fit. Yeah, with all those bike trips and all that crazy stuff. (laughs) Yeah. What are you guys um, looking forward to in just this coming year? Because ninth and tenth grade is a pretty yeah. It's I mean hectic for sure. Yeah, it's your first year of high school, and like, uh, well, it's gonna be kind of different. I feel like because you guys are like gonna be with the same people, but it's still so exciting to like have that big step and have so many more opportunities that you didn't get in middle school. Yeah. Like yeah. at our school, like the ninth graders are seen as like these big people that kind of watch over the school. Cause it's kind of like, it's weird. Cause like you think of ninth grade is like your first year of high school and you're like always the smaller one. Yeah. But at our school, it's like, you're not. It's so, it's a cool thing. Mm-hmm. It's, yeah. It's like, that's the year that like everyone in that class kind of grows really like together and we're like the leaders and stuff and go through our whole rites of passage through that. Yeah. I have so many friends that um, went to Santa Barbara Middle School, and just the connections that they that you guys create um, is really amazing. So yeah, it takes you special. through too. Yeah, I yeah. think it's awesome that you guys have all three years. Also, you don't have to worry about you know, like you said, you know, you get to be with people you already know, but you're also growing with them. It's not yeah. so much mm-hmm. just you're with them and then you lose them. You know, it's like yeah, you guys yeah. are. Yeah. joining that ninth grade year together so that's awesome yeah I think that's really special because I know like ninth grade year I just moved from Atlanta so it was kind of like crazy going in ninth grade year like going into it not only not knowing anyone at all but being from another state yeah. so it was definitely intimidating and I feel like you guys having those connections and having those people with you is going to make things like definitely smooth into your high school experience mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah and Kayla, you're looking to play soccer and volleyball at Laguna, right? Yes, I am so excited because tryouts are on August 8th for volleyball at Laguna. And I'm really excited to meet everyone and see who I'm going to be spending the next three years with. And you're switching there from which school again? Bishop Diego. Okay, right. Um yes. Yeah, so that'll be exciting. You haven't had an orientation yet or anything? No, I think there's going to be a school retreat that we're going to go on the first week that'll really help me get into the whole mm-hmm. situation and because these kids have most of them have been together since like preschool because mm-hmm. Laguna starts super early and like goes to the end of high mm-hmm. school so hopefully having that retreat and having that chance to bond with those kids will make my yeah. first day like totally easy. Yeah. what position do you play in soccer? Um, I play center midfield. Nice. Um, I love playing that position because you're not only just offense or just defense. You get to kind of control the whole field and see what's going on and, you know, see who needs help and who needs assistance throughout the game. I was right there with you. I did center mid and then I also did left forward. Yes. So yeah. Left I forward. Whenever, like, if, if I <laughs> join a team and they're like, okay, we have like kind of our set center mid. So like, okay, you're going left forward. Which Always. I, it's, yes. Yeah. It's so fun. What about on volleyball? What position do you play there again? Um, I play outside hitter. Okay. And that it's kind of exhilarating because when you get like that strike and that hit, it's mm-hmm. so exciting. And mm-hmm. I, I really love volleyball because I just started it this last year. Mm-hmm. And I was kind of iffy about it because I've normally been into sports that I use my feet with because that's what I've been doing like forever. And um, to start volleyball and like really like connect with mm-hmm. it so fast, like I'm obsessed. Like mm-hmm. I love it so much. Yeah, it's a... It was a great sport. I was really intimidated by it, too, just because there's such a volleyball culture in yeah, Santa Barbara. For and sure. And I came from ballet, which is, like, polar opposite, oh, right? Yeah. So I did that for 10 years and then jumping into volleyball. But it was um, – I, fe- I felt the same way when I started getting into it. Yeah. So. Yeah, Katie totally. here has also actually been dancing for a really long time, oh. too. Yeah. Yeah, it's really fun. I dance at Santa Barbara Dance Arts. Okay. 
And it's like, it's pretty awesome. I think dance is so fun. And I make so many friends there. Mm -hmm. And they have a great, like, I'm in the company there. And then I also compete. So it's just, it's fun time. But it keeps Mm -hmm. me very busy during the school year. Like, six days a week. Yeah, I was going five days a week, I think, until eighth grade. And it was just like, oh my gosh, so much. So I went to Gustafson. So, so, yeah, yeah, it's it's really intense. but, um, But it's one of the best things so yeah yeah yes, we just roll on as they say mm-hmm. it's just time for another break <laughs> so all right top off your coffee we'll be back with more after these messages We are back, and this is the Santa Barbara Teen Sports Radio Show. I am your host, Erica Salda, the Queen of Teen. Please tune in every, every single, single Tuesday. Tuesday. Uh, we're going to talk about the wall, but um, Dominic, get up here really quick, because you know, you know, because we have a little bit of time, you know, before the summer is over. And um, I've been doing some Audible books, because you know, not the big reader that I am, you know. And I got this little download because you know we were so filled with children here, um, and um, I don't know, we were driving down to Lagoon. Know, and I just got this downloaded hit, you know, because when you get in your 50s, you get these, whoosh, I don't know where it comes from. Um, I don't even go where it comes from. Um, and I, what I did was I started listening because when I said to Dominique, I said, you know, I know and I'm aware of that, There, you know, as far as biblical books, you know, when you start journeying, whatever you want to start learning stuff, you know, when you get older, you know, because I'm heading into the mountains, as they say, I'm going to be, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be around for a while, right? But you want to start learning stuff, right? Yeah. So, you know, there's a lot of books. I went to Westmont. Hello. Yeah. Um, but we didn't learn these things at Westmont. And cause I know your brother, yeah. you know, Kayla goes to Westmont and ask your brother if they're learning um, about the um, books. Good. I'm gonna, she's grabbing the mic. She, <laughs> I'll keep talking. We're going to talk about the wall. What, what Erica wants to share real quick is that she's been listening to the Gospel According to Thomas. And so there are... Uh, scrolls, they call them the Gnostic uh, Gospels, that have been found and are being translated, and um, you can go on Wikipedia and learn more about it, but there's beautiful, mystical Christian works that were done that help explain the life and the work of Jesus. And so, if you've never had an opportunity to read any of the Gospels that aren't actually included in the King James Bible, it's really fun and very educational. And so, um, Eric has been broadening her Westmont education by adding in the Gospel according to Thomas. I'm just saying there's a lot of books that weren't picked, and I wasn't on the committee to pick these books, so <laughs> that's all I'm saying. So, just throwing it out there. Let's talk about the wall. That's you, Anthony. <laughs> the wall. Of it. Yeah. Should we talk about the wall or should yeah. we talk about the walk? Maybe we should talk about both of them, right? List, you you oh. could do it in yeah. three and a half minutes. Three and a half minutes. All right. Well, so we have a large event that we are trying to get as many uh, student volunteers to be helping us out at the Goleta Valley Community Center to do a large mural. And we want them to be a part of it, um, which is, it's going to be a huge deal. I mean, this is a groundbreaking deal over there at the city of Goleta, um, at the Goleta Valley Community Center, which is the ones that are putting this on. And we want uh, young adults uh, to be particip- participate in it because we want to have their view and we want them to be a part of it they they will actually be taking classes um, to to start the mural from the very beginning all the way to the very end of the finishing of the mural nice. um, and um, they get community service hours uh, for being there and be participating and um, it, it's a huge deal so they look really good on resume um, to be part of that and we would really really like people to be involved um, and we also need some donors to be helping uh, donate some uh, paints brushes um, anything like that anything possible is is a huge huge help um, but getting the teens involved in something that is going to be part of uh, this community for a very very long time is a huge deal um, so they can go on to the um, Goleta Valley Community Center website which is the gvcc.org and they can download the application and fill it out and, and be part of that so that's one event that we have coming up and then uh, we have another event that's coming up which is uh, a little bit of a summer event and um but it's it's an amazing event, and it's called the Out of the Darkness Walk. And that walk is um, to bring awareness to uh, to suicide and honor those that we've lost uh, to suicide. And um, as myself, as a three-time suicide attempt survivor, it's a huge, huge deal to me to try to bring uh, suicide out of the darkness. And I can't do this alone. And our walk will be September 9th at Ledbetter Beach, and they can register online at AFSP santa barbara walk and it's free 
And one of the best things about this event and, and is pretty much everything. It's it's amazing. And to bring all the people uh, together to show people that there is support, there is love, there there is somebody that will be there for you. I mean, it, it is amazing. And um, we just need to really come together and we need to talk about this more and educate a lot more and, and hopes to prevent suicide. And that's our goal with uh, the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention to reduce uh, suicide um, by twenty per twenty five percent by two uh, by twenty twenty five, and um, you know, Alexandra, what what is your experience with the walk? It's a, just an amazing event, and I've helped out with it for the past two years, and I'm set. I'm said I won't be able to help with it this year too, or be there, but. Um, really like the bead ceremony and everything you just have to be there to experience it and it's a great event um, to just build community support and really see how strong our community is in spite of um, every somber event like you put that uh, like you put excuse me that happens and we just need to raise awareness suicide is a really big um really big issue right now and especially in Santa Barbara even though we don't hear about it that often it's definitely affecting our community so please be involved check it out see what you can do to help and I'll pass it over to Kayla because I see yeah, that, that's so special and I would definitely love to get involved and come walk with you guys um all right that I'm going to see it on September 9th. Yes, I'll be there all for right. sure. We love to see you, Santa Barbara. We've gone through a lot. We'll see you all September 9th. God bless everybody. See you next week.